Okay, so today I am so incredibly excited. We are going to be diving into sender authentication. Holy guacamole, this is actually so incredibly important. I find that a lot of times what ends up happening is, you know, we go through the process that we're sending out all these emails. We're just like, what the fudge sickles? Why are all of these emails that we're sending going to spam? Why are people not reading them? Why are our click rates down? Why are our open rates tanking? We look at our content as the issue, right? Which I totally have been there. I totally get that. Like a lot of what I do is definitely content related. But what ends up happening is it's not always your content. There can actually be something else on the back end that's holding you back from being able to get out of that promotions tab. So I'm so incredibly excited to be talking about this with you guys today. If you guys are here, definitely say hello. Um, if you're catching the replay, definitely do hashtag replay. Let's dive into sender authentication. Now, here's the deal, guys. Like, I, there's so much behind the scenes of this, especially when it comes down to, like, the actual tech, right? So a lot of times, like, I could go through and um, if you guys catch the live video that's on my business page, I went through kind of some of the tech pieces of it of, like, what actually encompasses sender authentication. We have DKA and we have SPF. We have all of these different things. But I know you guys are busy entrepreneurs. I know you guys are just interested in the fix. Like, how can I make sure that this this is checkmark. This is good to go. How can I just make sure that my emails are going not to spam, right? Like that's really kind of the biggest goal here. So here's why sender authentication is so incredibly important here at the end of the day. What it's doing is it's just making sure that the sender is authentic. Hi, Nick. Um, it's just making sure that you are who you say you are. You are the person that's sending the email. It's not somebody else. It really honestly is kind of like, the way I like to describe it um, in kind of like real world kind of situations is that a lot of times what ends up happening, um, like when you think about your credit cards, or your debit cards, you know, you, you know, your bank will notify you if you're just like, oh, wait, this isn't actually you or, you know, this is someone else is like, you know, they double check and make sure. Same concept, same process of just making sure that they are who they say they are, right? That's that's basically what it is. So when it comes down to it, having that check mark of saying, oh, yep, this person's authenticated, it's going to take you out of the spam. That question of sorry Nick just brought me like an entire bag of chips so let me give him a couple tips here um so what ends up happening is you know we go through this process of you know not doing it right like we don't pay attention to this which I've 100% been guilty of this um and what ends up happening is yeah like Google and you know Yahoo and all of them are like mm, I don't know who this girl is. So then they, you know, send you over to spam because you haven't taken the time to be authenticated. Now, the other piece of this is, and we're going to be going into this a little bit more when we go into sender scores um, later on this month. But what ends up happening as well, too, is we take a look at, well, email marketing providers, you know, have a job of making sure that everything is authenticated on their side. So usually for us, we only have a really small piece of this that we have to take care of. And so if you law, I mean, for the most part, a lot of you guys use ConvertKit, um, just like I do. But even if you use Mail or Light, use MailChimp, Active Campaign, all of this can be found underneath your settings. So if you go underneath your profile settings, specifically ConvertKit is underneath your settings, like your settings and then um, email. There's a little thing and it says optional uh, for ConvertKit specifically and it says verified um, domain. And so with that, you click on it and then what it's going to do is it's going to give you a little tiny code and that little tiny code in there is going to be able to then be put underneath your DNS records for your domain. So if you're like, Ashley, what the fudge cycle? Like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I promise it's actually super duper simple. Um, and most of the time they'll actually walk you through exactly where you need to put that for your particular domain. So if I were, and I can't go through all the different scenarios between the email marketing provider and the domain provider, but if you were like, okay, I need to know how to do this. I'm going to do this. This is the two things you would Google. So for your email marketing provider, you're going to want to know how to do sender authentication. So you would just type in sender authentication and it should pull up that a help article walking you through that for your email marketing provider specifically. And then on your domain side, you can then Google DNS record edition, or you can just probably put like add DNS record. That's probably more what someone would probably Google for that for whoever is underneath your item. So for like Namecheap, you would put that under Namecheap, GoDaddy, whoever it is. Um, and so that way you can link the two together to be able to complete this task. It honestly takes about five minutes. The actual verification process of like connecting the two, checking all of that is usually about 24 to 48 hours. Um, that's, you know, on a good day. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, just honestly depends. Um, and so, you know, this little task 
can make a huge difference for you guys, especially when it comes to taking things out of the promo tab, getting it out of the spam tab, and making sure that your stuff gets sent to your ideal clients right where they want to see it. So guys, when it comes down to it, it's very simple. It's very easy. It makes a huge impact. And honestly, if I had to kind of summarize at the end of the day, I've definitely have gone through and just like not done the things. I'm just like, what the heck? So here's how you can double check and see, did it work? Did it not work? Because sometimes, you know, there's actually several layers to this, as I had mentioned earlier. Um, you know, there's like the SBF, there's the DKM, all this stuff. And so I was doing research for a client specifically about this, around this, because she was like, we need to fix all of this authentication and all the things. And it was for um, active campaign specifically. And I was looking through and some of the things we could do stuff for, some of the things we couldn't do stuff. And I was like, I really don't know where you stand. Like, I don't know if things are good. Like, the help article wasn't helpful, right? So if your help article isn't helpful in understanding, okay, what do I need to do? Am I good? Like, it, it can get really confusing. So what I like to use is Glock App. So you can just hop on over to GlockApps.com. Glock Ops makes it super incredibly easy for you to run a report on your email marketing as it stands. So I'm going to be talking way more about this later on, and I'm going to show you guys um, in a tutorial what it kind of looks like, like a finished report for this piece specifically of what it should look like and kind of the information it'll tell you. But what ends up happening is um, you put in your information, there's a process for it, and I'm going to be sharing more about it soon of like how you will actually run the report. And what it's going to do is it's going to be able to share with you, oh, okay, cool, like this is how I can see, okay, I should, you should have green all the way across the board. That's the goal, right? Like if you have green all the way across the board, you've done your job, you're good to go, you've got this part taken care of. Um, but the thing is, is that things change all the time. I had another client um, who, you know, was doing a whole new email series and what ended up happening is like all of a sudden everything started going to spam and we literally couldn't figure out why. We're just like, what the heck, man? Like we thought everything was good to go. Like we thought everything was great. Ran the report and saw that the sender authentication was completely off because we didn't have the verified domain. And so it just threw everything off the board. Everything was messed up. And I was like, okay, I know how to fix this. You know, the Glock app report literally told us exactly what to do to fix our deliverability. And I'm not even joking. He, you know, now goes through the process of getting like 80% open rates, 13% click rates, like insane, insane amount of open and click rates because we fixed this using Glock app. So you get three free um, trials, test runs, essentially, to be able to go through and do this process. I'm going to show you guys a video of how to do that um, because the report that you're going to pull is actually the report you're going to be using um, for the rest of these live videos for the rest of the month. So it's free. It's super easy. It's a great process. It's going to be able to then show you how to do the things. Um, so that way you can just make sure you're all good to go. And the number one reason why I love Glock apps, like in particular, is because at the end of the day, it just continually monitors it as well for you too. I know for me, I'm super busy. I don't got a lot. And so I have, you know, multiple clients that I'm monitoring for. I'm just double checking and making sure that like all of their stuff is good to go. So when you have something like this in your back pocket, it just really is another layer of email marketing to take your results to the next level. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to let me know around sender authentication. I'm here to answer your questions, to walk you through the process, and just to make sure that you guys have this box checked because a lot of times we don't, and I've been there. I, I mean, a lot of my clients have been there as well too until we fix it, and then things just literally get like a whole new level of amazingness. So as soon as I hop off here, I'm going to go make sure Nick's all good to go. Come back. I'm going to do that quick video for you guys, the Loom video, walking you through that process of what that would look like. Um, and then that way you guys can double check it out. See, oh, okay, cool. This is how you do the things. Um, and then that way you can start running your own report and checking your own sender authentication to make sure you're good to go. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to have more posts here in the group about sender authentication going a little bit more um, in depth, more than just within this live video. Um, so that way you can really kind of hone in and understand what it actually is, you know, on a deeper level, if you're interested in learning about that. Um, because again, most of us, we're busy. We just want to check the box and make sure we're good to go and move on, which I totally understand. So, all right, guys, I'm going to hop off here. If you guys have any questions, again, let me know, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.